Oh, they're getting close. Right? You just have to do the back of your neck. Are we halfway? Yeah. We're almost done. Yeah, we've got some of your side cut. Now we just have to cut some more of the top. Mm. I'm just pinning him up. Don't want any hair to get down his neck. Are you ready to get me? Here's the thing. Mommy needs you to not, not wrinkle up here. It doesn't hurt. You're lucky, baby boy. Daddy would love to get a haircut. You're lucky. Good job. Oh, it's just like long. Does it hurt? No. Does it hurt? No. What's wrong? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I know. Does it tickle you? Yeah. But you're being a good boy. <laughs> a good boy, yes. There. Oh no, now you got hair on your face. Oh no. Do you want to go have a bath? Now the guy is having a bath. Right? Yeah, you were a good boy. Mommy got your hair all cut. He's not entirely sure if she cut it well because you've got peanut butter in it. It's a little hard to tell when there's peanut butter everywhere, but anyways, we'll see how this haircut goes. It's hair, you can cut it again. Yeah. And mommy didn't cut it too short, so it should be fine. Yeah. Are you having fun? Mommy's recording you. You're just gonna stand there? Yeah, Can we see I your cute you. hair? Yeah. Oh, your hair looks so nice. Yeah, the, the hair's nice. Yeah. It looks so cute. Okay, picture. Your mommy's just recording you. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> so we come back home and basically my son jumps up onto the computer chair to watch Donald Duck yet again. That's all he cares about is Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, Pluto. Look at him. You're not supposed to be eating right beside the computer, remember? Oh, it's a mess. I'm gonna need to put all this stuff away. Do you love Donald Duck? No. Anyways, we forgot to take the camera with us. We went to the library and got a couple books and a whole bunch of DVDs. Lots of books. And Did yeah, we're gonna them? have some. Can you show the books? Maybe in a bit. No, it's, let me show them. Okay. I'm gonna show them to you guys. <laughs> That's right. kind of like weird that I'm so, so happy to show them to you guys, but I am happy, so please. Well, I think we only got two books. Please one let for me. me. Show you guys some. This seemed to be looked really oh, good. I didn't even know that my wife got this one. It's called too. Ordinary Grace. Let me just mm. put it. So yeah, we'll see how it is. And we this got this one. It's one. so cute. Oh really, my gosh. Really flipping cute. Okay. My mommy always has time to play. Kind of tired. I need, I need a nap because when I 
as you, you guys will see, when I'm tired, I'm very weird, hyper. You might find me annoying, probably. This is who I am. And um, Josiah is like, when we were in the reading section, the kids section, he's like, Daddy, look. So I want this. So we got, we got this one. And he didn't pick this one. I picked this one because um, this was my kid cartoon thing. I like, I like this thing growing up. I like this cartoon. And it's uh, ballet shoes one. The Thing. love bug. I grew up with that one. Oh, you did? I didn't, but I, and then I, a new I'm one. looking for it. We'll see about time. Lantern Hill. I don't know if you've read it. Angry Gables. It's another book from ah, that. Cool. Lake Effects with Jane Seymour. I've never heard of it. And then the Incredible Mr. Limpet. Again, I grew up with that. This is funny. And like then, my wife got me into this. I was this. interested to see this when I see it's a newer one. It says God's not dead, and some kid has to prove to his teacher that God's cool. not dead. Sounds interesting. So, yeah, I definitely want to watch. That's that. what we got. So, we're gonna go eat lunch now. Bye. And yeah, bye. This is Josiah going ham on the blackberries. He's almost eat the whole box. Do you like blackberries? Yeah. Mmm. Hey guys, so I'm making cauliflower pizza crust and I thought I would show you some of the steps that I'm doing. I had um, blended, I blended the cauliflower up and just in like a food processor I just used my Ninja actually. And so it kind of looks like this and I cooked it in the microwave, kind of looks like rice almost. And then you cook it in the microwave, I cooked this. I think it's about five or six cups. So, anyways, whoops, sorry. And yeah, I think I cooked it for about six minutes. And then I put it in the freezer just to cool down a bit because now I'm gonna put it in this cheesecloth. You could just use a tea towel if you wanted. But I'm gonna put it in this cheesecloth and squeeze out the excess water so that the crust will actually be crispy because I don't know if you've ever tried to make a cauliflower crust before. If you don't squeeze out the water, you're just left with crumbly, bumbly mess. Not cool. So anyways, that's the next process I'm going to do. Well, as it's the dishes. <laughs> So this is the water that I squeezed out of it. I mean, I could probably keep going, but my hands can only deal so much. I had no idea there would be that much water. This is at least a cup and a half, possibly two cups of liquid that came out of like six cups. And now it's just, it's like a big bag still. It's probably about two handfuls, it looks like, but it will be what you want to eat. Do you want some more cheese? Okay. 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 So now I'm gonna put the cauliflower inside here, the bowl. It's like a disaster zone for the counter. Just cauliflower everywhere. If you're a neat freak, this is not for you. It reminds me of a little bit of almond flour. But it's, I don't know if you can see, but the texture is a lot different than what it was before. It's a lot drier. So anyways, we're going to put in a cup of mozzarella. Oh, this is like really hard to do. Um, and then we're gonna put in some Parmesan, some salt, and some kind of whatever spices, if you wanna put spices in, you can and some red pepper flakes. I think I'll put some of that in, maybe some just regular pepper. And then we'll mix it up with a couple eggs and hopefully it will look good. So I shall be back. 
So I'm just going to mix the eggs in now. I've mixed the cheese and the spices, salt and stuff in. And as I said, I think I had originally had like six cups of cauliflower. And so I'm using a cup of, of mozzarella and I used about half a cup of Parmesan, give or take. I'm really bad at measuring. I did get this recipe from, let me see, the luckypennyblog.com. So I'll put a link um, in the description below if, so you can look that up because she's got great pictures and everything of this but I'm kind of doing my own version because that's what I do when I cook but yeah we're gonna mix the eggs in and this is probably not gonna be the easiest feat ever so the lighting's a bit funky and yeah then hopefully we can I'll put this on some parchment and the next time you see it it's going to look like a pizza crust Okay, so I used half of the dough, and, oh, there it is, I created this. It's really wet. I've actually added about half a, there's just a, about half a cup of almond flour to the entire batch. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a third of a cup, because I was a bit, I don't know, I thought it was too wet, and I wanted a little bit more texture, or not texture, um, dryness added. But I don't know, it seems really, really wet, so I hope it's okay. I maybe added too much egg, I have a feeling. But, I mean, it sticks together somewhat. It's not awesome. Like, if I press into it, it will not stick. So it's too great, so. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 and see how it goes. Okay, so this is what the pizza crust looks like now. Um, I had to cook it a lot longer than 10 minutes. I actually cooked it for like 22 minutes and I put up the heat to 400 for the last five minutes to try to get some browning. I could not get it to brown at all. And yeah, now it looks gorgeous. So now I'm just gonna put our toppings on it and we have pizza peeps. So I'm super excited. And Isaac is here and he's just grating cheese like a wonderful <laughs> husband does for his wife. Well, he's actually probably gonna eat most of the pizza, so he better be grating the cheese, right? You know what I'm saying? Got it. And this, this guys. folks, is the finished product. Yes, looks like you get to eat it. Looks like pretty happy <laughs> that we're gonna be eating something that looks so delicious. And the crust, as you can see, like, oh, a bit in the shadow here. I'm hungry now. Oh. It looks so good. Let's get some, oh, why is there such weird shadows? But yeah, it looks so delicious. It's yeah. Hungry and dying. We will let you know what the taste test says and if it is as good as it looks. Mm. So, we're going to do a taste test. What do you think? Wow. It doesn't even taste like it's. it would be, um. what do you call it? Cauliflower. It tastes like you're eating a, like actual pizza dough. So good. Mmm. It is so good. The bite I had. Mm. Yum. So, wow. we're just gonna go eat now. <laughs>